Um, you know, I, I hate to oversimplify, but same guys, same stuff, a little better execution. So this is the SEC. They're going to get you sometimes. And uh, hopefully, you know, you can get them more times than not. But um, I think maybe a little bit more belief led to a little better execution or a little more simplification uh, also led to better execution. So, but he was great for us. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know that we had one specific script, but we were willing to kind of just go inning by inning. And, uh, you know, both guys, you know, that started the game there for us kind of made it very difficult to take the ball away from them, what which is a good thing. Sorry. What was the process for Billy in terms of when he knew you'd have him active, when he knew you were going to start and all that? Well, the, the days were, it's two weeks, give or take, uh, you know, was, was kind of was, was suggested. And um, no disrespect to Tuesday's game, but we're kind of in the midst of league play. So it was really all about where are we at with the Auburn series. And it just didn't make sense. I think he could have. Um, I know he was telling people he wants to be out there, and he's kind of got that attitude. I mean, he almost – he's a tough kid, let's put it that way. But it just didn't seem to make sense on the road there. And so we felt good about him playing, just didn't want to come forward and speak for him because – He's, I think he's got a long, long career ahead of him. And uh, obviously, we've got some season left. But the sooner we can get that guy back, the better. And uh, he showed why. What was the process of going with Chris uh, Thomas to start the game? What did you think of him? Yeah, he was great. I mean, we, we wanted to uh, finish Tuesday's game. And he actually was hot in that game. His situation just didn't come up. And then Wednesday, we started from scratch with some conversations. And we wanted to wait till Thursday was over with. And see, you know, a couple guys threw off the mound. and continue to have conversations and see where everybody's at. And um, had an idea that's what we we're going to do and finalized it this morning and just felt like he's got experience. Um, but also, I, I think um, cause he's been a great teammate for us and has led the way. And he was in need of a great teammate, you know, to kind of get somebody to relieve a little stress for him. And there's not a better teammate here. There's some irony to him pitching in this game. I mean, long story short, he was the last guy we added to this roster. And uh, when it was finalized, I just kept saying from my conversations with him on the phone, I'm just so happy he's a part of it. And uh, I don't know how he's been with you guys with interviews, if he's as creative as those other idiot lefties we have. But um, he's just an awesome dude. And I don't know what he's going to do. Hopefully somebody give him a pro opportunity. But if not, it's not going to matter. He's going to be very successful in life. And I know he's still got ties to Cal. But we'll, we'll be wanting him to come back here a lot because he's – He's a great dude, and I think he was a great teammate tonight more than anything. Hey, what are the conversations like with a with a guy like Kazi as a coaching staff when you're kind of weighing, you know, giving him a, a, a different look to get his confidence versus, you know, taking a guy out of the Friday night role and that might, you know, hurt the confidence even more? What are those conversations like? I think it's case by case. And with him, I mean, we knew it when we sat down. I mean, his family's just always upbeat and positive, and, and he carries the torch in that category. So with him in specific, He's going to just, hey, line up and walk this way. Okay, no, line up and run this way. He's going to do whatever you ask. Uh, but I think there is a little bit of an assurance there of, um, you know, when you start a weekend, you're kind of looking at how many pitches we need to finish this three-game series. And, you know, you want this guy to be available for this. And I think one thing he needed to be reminded was, regardless of when you do it, if we're going to be good, we need you to throw 70, 75 pitches for us in a weekend, and I think, you know, he got close to 100 because he was really good tonight. Can you talk to us about just kind of focusing on making an elite pitch after an elite pitch? Just how important is that simplification and maybe not making it more than it is? Yeah, I think you got to understand, you know, what's in front of you, and it's, it's usually just that pitch. And you saw tonight, I mean, it was crazy, a little bit sloppier than I think both sides would want at times and, and not the cleanest finish. Uh, but again, it's our league. They're college players, you know, they're, they're 19, 20, some of them. Um, there's going to be crazy stuff that pops up. So you got to center yourself and, you know, focus on what is my actual task. And then, you know, whether you're Causey or Kirby or Stamos and, and whoever else it could be, if that's the task and we're, you're the guy out there, <laughs> that means everybody that's wearing this uniform, you're representing them. So you're probably worthy of being the guy to attack that task. Um, so maybe a little bit of self-assurance and also simplification of, of kind of knowing what you got to go do. Talk a little about Kazi getting somebody to take the help and take the pressure off. How big do you think this was for him to come into a pretty tight situation, pitch his way out of it, and then he brings up? I think it brings him back to center. 
because he's worked so hard and um, he's got really good stuff. I mean, our guys will tell you that, that have had to hit off him and it's not a, an easy look as a hitter. Um, but he got to kind of away from being, like I said, at center or, or kind of being a neutral, whatever you want to call it, because some things spiral on him in the, in the wrong direction. And I think you need a little bit of, you know, it's one thing for me, I can't just call him into the office and say, hey, self-assurance, here you go, and pat him on the back. You got to get some feedback from the game. Um, so I think it was big for our team for him to do what he did. But yeah, I, I think it'll bring him back to center and realize it is a great league. Uh, it's a really talented roster over there, and whenever he throws again, he's going to be facing another talented roster. But he's talented too. Um, so you hook it up and you find out who's better. And if it wasn't you, lace up the bootstraps a little tighter, I guess. And, and if you do get him, realize you know it's because you can do it. You know, and, and he's fully capable of doing anything we ask of him. Okay. Billy being able to hit that homer after being out, what do you think that meant to him? But it hurt, it hurt my heart because he, I was calling him Coach Billy. He was sitting right next. So it was depressing for me in a way because he returned to player status. He was kind of fun to have on the – he really approached it the right way. But he kept guys loose in the dugout, and he was a good communicator. And it's almost eerie or weird how seamless of a fit he is for coming in as a transfer. Um, but for him, I think, you know, we gave him a couple live pitches or, or a pitcher. Derek Schaefer did a good job of throwing him. Uh, faced him twice, and when he got done, he said it, it looks like it always has, meaning, you know, it's just because he took a couple weeks off. It's not a different game or anything different. So um, while the home run was an awesome welcome back and he enjoyed it, um, it was kind of a typical night for him. You know, he made a good defensive play for us, I think. Um, you know, maybe could have made another, uh, but he was playing ball. How big was the way that AJ came in, Kirby came in, both bases loaded and got you out of some big situations there? Yeah, it was almost like, you know, we're going to let Stom take the, uh, you know, baton. And, and for the record, he's not related to John Stamos. I think he's equally as good looking, but he's going to take the baton from, from Causey and, and uh, start the game. Uh, and then it kind of led into those two guys handing off. And, um, you know, they're good players. Otherwise, they wouldn't be out there. But. I hate to pump someone's tires. That's a that's a pretty good trio of guys, and you guys are you guys work hard at watching our scrimmages and being around our kids. Um, if you're going to trust the guy, Causey's a pretty good one, and then if you're going to trust the guy to hand it off, um, I mean, we got if if our new women's basketball coach is you know trusting Kirby to catch her, then then certainly we can trust him to be out in that situation. That was pretty cool, and it only I won't say it gets better from here, maybe in the bas baseball category, but. With Todd throwing out the first pitch tomorrow, that'll be equally as exciting, I should say. Anything else, Coach? Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Coach.